What's going on, everybody? Vince Goodrum here. It is Wednesday afternoon, and I'm going to react to this uh, video, uh, you know, that I just popped upon. So let's go ahead and play it. Walmart decides to put a black male employee inside of a damn cage and tell people to pay money to get him out. This is not an SNL skit, nor an insensitive joke. This is real. Walmart in Providence, Rhode Island is now under scrutiny after they decided to put a black man in a cage in the middle of the store. And according to them, they had a great reason for doing it. See, he's just sitting there knowing that he's going to get a payout, you know. <laughs> I mean, literally, he's going to get a payout. I mean, uh, any attorney's going to be licking their chops at this. But let's continue. It was for the children. They were raising money for children. One of the richest companies on the planet Earth needed to put a black male inside of a cage in their store so that they can raise money for children. Let me give you background to this insanity. According to Providence Journal, Walmart was conducting a Hasbro Children's Miracle Network fundraiser and decided to put a black employee in a makeshift cage with a sign reading, I'm in jail. I need bail. Help me raise $50 to get out. The sign also read, quote, all donations going to Hasbro Children's Miracle Network. What? Response from Walmart. Here it is. Joe Pennington, a Walmart Corporation spokesman, confirmed to the journal that the location was participating in an annual Children's Miracle Network Hospitals fundraiser. But what the store did in Providence was against store policy. Against store policy? <laughs> I, I think it's been against any policy since, I think, 1864, you know. Uh, well. <laughs> wait, wait a minute, spokesperson. It's against store policy to put employees inside of cages at Walmart? You don't say. Let's continue. But what the store did in Providence was against policy. The jail fundraiser goes against company policy and should never be used, Pennington said. We are reinforcing this with our stores in the area. Like, okay, you got to tell them not to put black people inside of cages that are meant for the basketballs or the soccer ball. Okay. Penny to say we're reinforcing this with our stores in the area, and this display has been removed from our Providence location. Um, Sarah Lyons, a spokeswoman for Lifespan Health System, claims the company did not know about the fundraiser. As a partner of the Children's Miracle Network, Walmart has been a great supporting partner of Hasbro Children's Hospital, and we are very appreciative. We were not aware of this particular fundraiser held as part of the Children's Miracle Network campaign, and have spoken with both the Children's Miracle Network and a local store, the local store, about fundraising alternatives moving forward. You do realize that this was discussed, submitted as a proposed idea, vetted, approved, then they recruited an employee, had the employee who works for the company do this thing. Now, at one point, did somebody in management say, Whoa, well, guys, wait a minute. Putting somebody inside of a cage may not be the best idea. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. Uh, what in the world was management thinking? They should have known the optics of it, you know. And like I said before, the other guy ain't going to complain because he knows that, you know, he's going to make some cash off of a good lawsuit. I mean, that, that's easy pickings here. Significant either A, in 
insensitivity, or B, they just don't give up. It's one or the other. It's nothing in between. It is insane. Now, I will say this uh, to the individual who endured what the employer told him to do. You may want to call an attorney. All right? All right. Share your thoughts here. Yeah, I hope. Yeah, folks. Uh, you know, many years ago, uh, you know, I, you know, the old cage fundraisers, they used to be a big thing back many years ago, like, but we're talking 20 or 30 years ago. I'm suspecting that, you know, this store manager is probably up in his late 60s at the very least. And, and this type of stuff was common. Uh, but in this day and age, uh, you know, I, I've not seen the old cage fundraiser in quite some time. I think if they put a white person in the cage, uh, I don't think there, would, there wouldn't have been anything said. But the fact that they put a black guy in the freaking cage, you know, management would have just had to look back and just look at the optics of it. You know, I mean, seriously, this is about the dumbest thing that I've ever seen since Mayberry RFD. I kid you not. I mean, but, you know, the reason why I wanted to review this video is, folks, you know, when you're at a workplace and you see or get into an awkward situation, keep your mouth shut. Just just don't do anything, you know. And if you are in management, be perceptive of the optics of whatever you actually do optics you know but i mean at some point in time you know management assistant manager they should have one of those people should have saw it and like you know putting a black guy in a cage and eh, not a good idea you know oh well that's all i got to say for right now like and subscribe to the vince goodrum channel click the link below also visit vincegoodrum.com and as always peace and soul